Oh, you have to be kidding me. I just made the perfect shot and it wasn't recording. Hello darkness, my old friend. Hi everyone, my name is Nicholas and I recently won the Adobe Make the Cut contest as Best Young Creator. Many of you on the social networks such as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram have been asking me if I made all my effects within Premiere Pro or not. The good news is, yes, most of my effects have been made in Premiere Pro. I'm talking about those uh, RGB glitch effects, those triangle and transition effects, and uh, those overlay effects. And I'm going to show you how I made all of those effects within Premiere. So here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, as you can see, I have customized my whole workspace. Since I'm French, my software is actually configured as French. So all my effects are French and all that stuff. But don't worry, I'm going to translate them and you won't be lost. So today we're going to take a look at how I made that uh, RGB glitch effect. So first of all, you, we need to understand what is a composite image and what RGB means. RGB is for red, green, and blue, which are the three channels are, that are required to create that composite image that you are seeing right now. So what we are going to do uh, today is that we're going to recreate those three channels and displace them so that we get that glitchy uh, effect. So let's get started. So we have this clip here of a guy I shot like in last September, a few months ago. Uh, whatever, so you're going to take your clip and you need to duplicate it. Uh, a technique I like to use is in a, that is very uh, simple and quick is that you hold down Alt, click and drag, and boom, your clip is duplicated. So you duplicate your clips three times, and we're going to rename those, like uh, this one will be the green one, this one will be the blue one, and this one will be the red one. Okay, so now we're going to the effects panel and we're going to take the curve effects and we're going to click and drag on the first clip. So this clip, we named that red. So we're going to take down those greens and those blues so that we only get the red channel. As you can see, we only see red and luminance. We're going to do the same thing with the blue channel and the green channel. So now we need to blend those clips together. How are we going to do that? You're gonna select your clip the first one, the red one, so you have trajectory and you have opacity. So you have two kind of controls, you have the, the amount of opacity, uh, but that's not what we want to, uh, to touch. We want the fusion mode and we're going to select screen. So what's happening is that um, our first uh, layer is going to blend all the highlights uh, with the, the, the layer underneath it. Well, so we're getting back our image together. So let's do that with the blue channel too. And boom, we got it. We got our image back. So that's great, but I wanted a RGB effect, not to create a complicated version of my composite image. We're going to, let's say about here, let's zoom, let's zoom in so we can see all our frames. So let's get here, select the cutter, and let's cut just the red and blue channel. We don't need the green channel to move actually because it's the bottom one, it's the basis. Let's get like three frames later. One, two, three, another one, and let's have a last one. Okay, so we are going to move the position of those uh, so that we can have the, the, the effect we've been looking for uh, all day. So select the first, the top layer, the red layer in this case, and we're going to the position and select that horizontal position. And uh, as we move it, you can see that we are already getting that glitchy little stuff. So let's move it like here. Let's select the blue one and let's move it in the other way. Or perhaps, no, no, the other way is cool. Like that. You're going to the next clip and you're going to move that in, in the other way, the opposite ways, and uh, perhaps this one we're going to do it on uh, the vertically side, like that. Let's play it back. And as you can see, we got uh, something that looks glitchy. So the secret behind that effect is that you need it to be real quick, actually. See, this is actually already a bit long. Um, we're going to get those a little shorter. 
See, that's a little better. Another way you can make that RGB effect is uh, by keyframing your clips. So select your first, your top layer, red layer in, in this case, um, and you're going to the position and click on the stopwatch. And we're going to move it like that, perhaps like that. And you know what? We can actually move the scale to, uh, let's have it like this. Now we're going to move the blue layer, click the stopwatches, and uh, move it actually as as much as you'd like. And uh, we're going like two frames uh, backwards, and we're going to reset position and scale for both clips. And uh, we're going like two or three frames forwards and reset all those settings. And as you can see, you have that zooming RGB thing going on. That's it for today with the RGB glitch effect within Premiere. Now it's your turn to play with it, so go ahead, twitch it, get wild with it as much as you can, and uh, send me your creations on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I would be very glad to see what you did. If you have any questions, requests, or if you want to see more, just leave a comment below, hit that like button, and subscribe. Stay creative, and I'll see you next time.